Well, in true Andy fashion, I've got distracted again and um, I've been looking at this corner near where the uh, tunnel entrance is, which leads down to the uh, incline um, to the lower level. Um, I know I've had some, some comments on previous videos about it probably doesn't look realistic, this. It doesn't look like a tunnel. I know somebody said it looked like a, I've placed a plastic train set tunnel portal. Um, but I suppose you've got to have your imagination sometimes. I want this to look like this line is just disappearing off. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is creating a lead up to that tunnel as a cutting. So this side will all be built up uh, and might be something there. Just so you see the train disappearing into a cutting before it hits that um, tunnel mouth. And it may just hide um, some of the curve that we've got in there. So um, I'm going to have a little play around with this area now. I know it's not on my list, but um, it's niggling me. So I'm going to see what I can do with it. So um, I've been in the garage. I have got some pieces of um, insulation board left over from when I built the garden there, uh, but it is only 25 mil. So I'm probably gonna have to do a few layers, but I'm kind of thinking I'm gonna have to build it up quite a bit, but start doing some layers. Um, Get it obviously all cut, shaped back, um, and then just bring it and it'll probably then gently slope down this way. But once I've done that, that's this corn done, I can get the back scene on here and it'll just look a bit better if I wanted to run any trains because uh, it'll just look a bit more scenic, hopefully. So slowly building up the layers. Um, that's three. I'm just wondering whether maybe one more to bring it this way slightly and obviously this will be shaped down so um, I'll get the uh, silver foil peeled off get these stuck together and down then I can just start shaping this a little bit rough and ready at the minute but um, get the old knife out on that should be good so that's three layers really roughly cut um, stacked together 25 mil each that's 75 mil high so I'll decide what that's going to look like um, what I've done now is just uh, glued it together my um, sealant ran out so I haven't been able to use that but I did find in garage some um, no more nails now whether that will work only time will tell so I've put a layer on each the bottom's not one's not fastened to the board um, I've just glued the top two levels on and then weighted it all down. The plan me when it comes off, I can then start to carve and shape this. So um, first things first is we'll see if it, uh, if it glues. Well, I've started to um, do some really rough shaping. Um, that no more nails that I tried uh, doesn't work. Um, I don't know if this is because it can't absorb into this. Um, so it's still loose. I'll leave it overnight, see if it's any better tomorrow. Um, but uh, if not, I'll have to go buy another tube of cheap uh, sealant or maybe try copy decks. <clears throat> well, it seems you just need a bit of patience. It has dried overnight, um, the three sheets stuck together. So I don't know if you can tell, I've just tried to start doing a bit of shaping on them. Um, let's go something like that. Um, so it does start to taper down here. I think it still needs more. I don't think that bit's right. So I'm just wondering whether I need to put um, another like piece in there and just start to shape that as well. So it comes down. So I'm thinking I need another maybe a layer there and then this needs obviously shaping down this will come down but I also think I probably need a bit of something in there to create maybe a cutting that's just rough come a bit longer and come down just so there's a uh, well it's more natural then isn't it how it's been cut out rather than it coming down like that so um, I've got a few more offcuts of this I think I'll have a 
scrape some of this out, unfortunately. See if I can get a piece in there. I've scraped all this covering up, this static grass and other bits that I had on there, trying to get it level, and I've just made a basic paper template. And I'm thinking it's going to be something like that. Obviously higher, and then it'll start to come down pretty much to nothing and join up with this original bit just at this end. So um, now I'm pretty happy with the shape. Um, I'll get that transferred onto a piece of the insulation board. Um, I'm going to have to, do, again, it's only 25 mil thick, so I'm going to have to do two or three and then shape it down. Well, I very crudely um, cut the paper template out from a sheet of the insulation board. I've done two. Now, that looks uh, very crude, I know that, but the idea is, is that it'll be shaped, it'll, that slope will continue. So I'll lose the majority of this top one, in fairness. Um, it'll shave down this way as well. Um, and hopefully it'll look like this line here goes into a cutting before it hits the tunnel. Well, it probably looks like I'm trying to create an elephant tusk at the minute, but um, I'm trying to get like a cutting in there. Um, very rough shape that, uh, obviously it needs a lot more shaping on it before I start to put some uh, cloth bandage on there. But um, hopefully it does start to create a cutting now before the line disappears into the tunnel. Decided this bit up towards the tunnel is too flat, so um, I'm going to put another piece on top and then spend some time shaping it down just to build this top edge up. Um, so I've got a bit of copy decks on there, loving the smell. Um, I'll leave that to go off for 20 minutes, put them together. I'm just going to put a bit of wood each side and then clamp it down. Done a bit more shaping to this piece. Um, I'm happy with the height there. I'm just conscious it, it, it's high and narrow and it's vertical there, um, which naturally it won't hold, I don't think, would it? So another little thought that might work is these scaled air walls, I've got some more and I didn't know whether uh, I could maybe carry those along just around here um, give it a bit more support that way I don't know it might just allow me then to um, bed those into the wall and then just just maybe ease that off a bit more whether I could somehow cut Cut these old pieces down just to do a, you know, a final like uh, stopper there. Not sure if that gives a good angle, but. Hopefully it might just hide some of the curve that leads into that tunnel from um, 
from well, depending on where you're looking from. So that's kind of the idea. Okay, it's time to fill some gaps. This is the stuff I use to do the filling. I've used it pretty much on all the areas on the layout. Uh, I've changed the track design that many times. It's got pinholes all over it from droppers, so it's great for filling that. But just for getting the, some of the, um, you know, the, the marks and the holes out of polystyrene as well, it's good for. Um, it's really cheap. Um, I've just been and bought another tub today, actually. It's Stanley Multi-Purpose Ready Mix Filler. It uh, comes in a, 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 key, a kilo, so it's a big tub, and it's £3.99. comes from a value retailer, uh, B&M Stores. I don't know if you can see that, but it says it's Stanley Black & Decker, so I don't know whether it's exclusive to B&M, or you can get it elsewhere, but £3.99 for a huge tub like that. It spreads really easily, dries quick without cracking, and it's so easy to sand, so um, I find it really good. Right, I'll get this in the right position first time. So I'll give this uh, time, copy decks time to fully cure, um, and then I'll get the old filler out and just fill and then just build this out a little bit, uh, get it covered and we're good to go. But having a bit of fun doing some paper mache on that back uh, side there as you can see. I do think when it comes to uh, doing all the scenics in that corner, once I've got the base layers down, so the, the fine turfs, the static grass and everything, I am going to flood it with trees I think, just to really build it up. And I may even add, a f add some more trees across the back there, just to give the illusion that that hillside continues to grow. Um, so I'll, sit, I'll start having a look around here and get some trees ordered. Okay, so that's the initial landscaping done for this cutting leading down to that tunnel. Uh, I've just painted this side, so I'm going to let it dry now. I'm probably just going to leave it for a while, um, just so I'm really comfortable with, with how it looks. 